So the latest TWAB for this week at Bungie has not long dropped and it beholds some interesting news that is for sure. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. So the TWAB has not long dropped and it does behold some great interesting information to talk about so let's get into it so the twab starts off with basically what i talked about earlier in a video if you missed it basically the shadow keep dlc has been delayed until october 1st basically a couple more weeks this is what they state as we've been getting closer and closer to serving up shadow keep a new light has become increasingly clear to us that our releases for this fall would benefit from a bit more time in the oven basically they're saying that there it isn't quite ready to push out yet so they would need a couple more weeks to get things perfect which is fair enough now we do see a couple new images of shadow keep and some of the things here look look at the armor there people look at that hunter mask look at that look at it all he looks in look at the warlock mask i don't know what's going on there he's got like a mask on top of his mask and the titan as usual just looks like a spaceman but looking absolutely great the theme of the weapons there is awesome too Cannot wait to dive in. So yes, the new Shadow Keep release is now October 1st. It then goes to talk about the Solstice of Heroes. Right now, Solstice of Heroes rages on. The European area zone is live. Guardians are dishing out their mayhem with their elemental buffs. Today marks the third and final daily rotation. If you haven't gotten a chance to experience them just yet, here's your briefing. And they're going to showcase uh, the Praise the Sun, which is for Solar, Unlimited Power, which is for the Ark, and Gaze into the Void, which is for Void. We're only on day three of the event and we're already seeing legendary armor sets and the Moments of Triumph's title. We'll be watching to see who among you earns all three armor sets and unlocks the coverted Void Streak Sparrow. They then state ending on a high note. With two more weeks of our season of opulence calendar, we're taking an opportunity to make players feel truly opulent. Moments of Triumph is being extended for those hunting their prize ship, sparrow and t-shirt. Multiple iron banners will happen during the final month and a few Valor infamy boosts to help guardians reach some milestones before the end of the season. Here's a quick calendar for what we have planned and we can see that on screen now. We're getting iron banner on the 3rd of September and we're also getting iron banner on the 17th of September. We've also the date for the update 2.5.22. In the Destiny update 2.5.22, you'll find a quick quality of life update to address some trending feedback from players, specifically concerning rewards. Here's a preview. Moments of Triumphs has been extended to the 17th of September. Gambit Prime and Reckoning Weapon reward rates will be highly increased, that's great. They will also have a bad luck protection to guarantee a drop after a set amount of runs, pretty cool. Reckoning Difficulty will be tuned to be more welcoming as you hunt for rewards. Braytech schematics will no longer have a daily lockout and will give better chances toward weapons that players do not own. Mountain Top and Wendigo GL3 Pinnacle quests will become more accessible. Specific quest objectives will be tuned based on player feedback. There will be multiple weeks of increased valor and infamy to look forward to in September. Iron Banner will be accompanied by increased valor in each event. As the season comes to a close, Menagerie Chess will become more rewarding as Callus sees fit. On the week of Destiny 2 Update 2.5.22, we'll be hosting a community challenge of sorts. Stay tuned for more details. 
Note, while Moments of Triumphs has been extended, Sources of Heroes will end on August 27th. If you wish to complete all Moments of Triumph, be sure to earn your Legendary Sources set and Masterwork One Piece before the dead line. We will have more specifics on these notes as we get closer, but we wanted to give you a few things to look forward to as we embark on the final sprint toward our full release on October 1st. Now the interesting thing for me here is the menagerie chest and how it says they will become more rewarding as Kallus sees fit. Now what does this mean? Now I put out a tweet the other day talking about how well how perfect the EAZ is. The more progress you do, the more boss you destroy, the more bosses you kill at the start, the more chests you get a chance of hunting down. I mean that's like the perfect system which would perfectly fit the menagerie. Now in my opinion the menagerie was a great, great PvE addition, probably the best we've had in Destiny altogether, and the chest at the end they could farm it over and over until the 5 minute timer ran down was great, it was an amazing addition, one that many thought Bungie had put into place, implemented into place on purpose, and when they took it away, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've done a Menagerie once since I took it away, I was doing that thing every single day, so fixing the loot system here, fixing the rewards, fixing the chest in my opinion would be a great great addition, so as soon as we find out more about that people, I will have you covered right here on my channel. But yeah guys, if you want to read through the whole 12, I have covered basically the important parts. You will find it linked within the video description. But tell me what you think down below in that comment section, what they're going to be doing to the menagerie to fix this thing. To make the rewards more appealing. To make people want to play it again. Because that thing is dry as heck. But yeah guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Also, people stay tuned for the specifics they drop on certain changes with the 2.5.22 update. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.